$746,000. That's the price of this uh, Class A. If you're interested and have the cash, <laughs> check out this video. This is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza. I hope you're having a really good day. In this video, I explore something definitely out of my budget. Maybe it's in your budget. It's the uh, Integra Cornerstone 45 y This is a 2019 model. It's one very sweet motorhome. Don't forget you can pause this video at any time to look at the visual elements, the specifications, because this is pretty small type. I can't even read it unless I pause it. And uh, again, feel free to pause it. I shot this all in 4K. So yeah, I shot it with my little action camera. Not my super duper uh, 4K camera, just my little action cameras, because I just happened to see this right in front of their store and i said hey i got to take some video of this and share it with my youtube audience so here it is right in front of their uh, sales center uh, they have uh, must be at least a couple hundred uh, motorhomes down there and they're the number one motorhome uh, uh, vendor in the united states they say in the world they have it on sale for under five hundred thousand. it's listed for like seven hundred and sixty thousand. so this is quite the deal if you can afford it go for it i say go for it Beautiful headlights, beautiful ex uh, exterior. You know, it's all painted, beautifully done. Have nice uh, Alcoa rims, Michelin tires, and more slide outs than you can uh, handle. Beautifully done. Absolutely glorious for the full timer or the very affluent uh, part timer. Again, Alcoa rims, Michelin tires, top of the line. I rubbed my hand on the uh, finish there and it was smooth as glass. Wow. Again, I'm not going to open all the uh, storage areas. I'm not going to show you the, you know, the, the diesel engine back there for this diesel pusher. I'm not going to show you that stuff. You have to go to the dealership and get a, you know, check it out yourself. Uh, and again, I'd like to thank the folks at Motorhome Specialists and Alvarado Tejas for allowing me to shoot this video. Uh, it's a beautiful coach. It was just out there in the front. I said, hey. This is wide open spaces for me. And again, uh, these people are very, very nice. They're very professional and have the best uh, inventory of motorhomes that I know about. I've been in California. I've been in Florida. I've been all over the place. And I've never seen a place that has as many motorhomes as this joint. So a beautiful paint job, gold, black, and gray and white. Absolutely glorious. I love this thing. But then again... Who wouldn't like this? This is nice. This is plush. If you want something plush to go down the road to your uh, resort uh, or do some uh, dry camping, this thing has it all. Here's the seats. Leather seats, not, you know, Nagaide or some pretend material. These are, these are leather seats. I felt them. They felt like leather. If it's some uh, synthetic material, they fooled me. So here's the head unit, and I'm, here I am going to play with it for a little bit just to show you. It has a lot of functionality. It has two screens, one on the top and one on the bottom. You can get a split screen sort of thing, you know, one on the, doing one thing and one doing another. And uh, here I am just playing with it. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. If you buy this motorhome, I seriously suggest you get at least a little bit of training because there's a lot of buttons to push, levers to uh, play with, and a lot of features that I and a lot of others out there don't know, you know, how to how to manage. So you should at least get some serious orientation, you know, a couple days worth, not your usual one hour, you know, here it is. No, you gotta, this has a lot of whiz-bang features. This is, thing is loaded. This Integra is loaded absolutely to the brim so I'm playing with the buttons for the different uh, you know they have cameras on the side cameras in the rear cameras everywhere uh, you know so again this is an A plus product this is something for the well-heeled customer somebody who can afford to plop down 500 you know G's and say hey I want this I'm going camping and I don't like doing it rough I want it plush and again, here's all these buttons and levers and stuff like that for the, you know, who knows what, for the windows, for the heaters. Uh, I don't know. You'd have to go to the salesman and ask him, how does this work and how does it benefit me? 
Uh, yeah, a lot of beautiful cabinetry. Uh, everywhere in this unit except for the bathroom that's a nice brown cabinet here of course you can ask them for a different cabinet color if you want and here's some uh, some of the uh, security features and some of the other features for the awning the television for the lights for the heating for the air conditioning for the shades the uh, list goes on and on and on so this is a view from the uh, driving area to the sofa beautiful leather sofa i love it and uh plenty of windows all the way around so it has a large large sofa a little dinette a television good size samsung television and uh, a little fireplace and look at this light fixture it's absolutely beautiful i've been looking at twenty thousand dollar twenty five thousand dollar travel trailers to go away with, with my uh, little mid-size chevy colorado this is definitely a step up if not about a half a dozen steps up for me i'm trying to reorganize these pillows because i didn't like how they were organized I said, hey you guys uh need to fire your maid here you know you guys gotta get this place nice and uh perfect i'm pushing the little uh, ottomans in there wow you got ottomans and of course they have storage in it they have storage on the outside they have storage on the inside this place this unit has more storage in a you know an apartment in new york or San Francisco that you're paying seven thousand bucks a month for this is nice look at all those cabinets it has Bose surround sound can't complain about that and look at those beautiful uh, hardware for the cabinets solid wood solid wood say no plastic covered wood at this price point and that's uh, you know solid surface countertops everywhere it sort of looks like granite to me they call them solid surface but I, they didn't want to say that's granite or quartz or something it's probably more quartz to me there because it had a little glitter to it so again there's that fireplace i'm sitting down and going wow this would be a nice spot to watch a football game on a rainy uh, saturday or sunday at the uh, resort in key west or in california or in vermont watching the leaves fall that's a little nice dinette two chairs I wonder if they have some extra chairs that you can throw. There's some folding chairs so you could maybe pull that out a little further. I don't know. I did not check that. I did not. I did not check everything. I just went in there, you know, just grabbed my little action camera and took some pictures. My action camera is uh, 4K, but it's not very good in low light. I'm glad I had this uh, unit had, I had the chance to turn on most of the lights. And it did a pretty good job, my little camera. And it did a pretty good job. If you can read that, you're doing a better job than me. <laughs> list of uh, what's included in this unit so absolutely wonderful if you're in the market for a high-end travel I um, mean a motorhome not travel that's me I'm looking for a cheap travel trailer but if you're looking for a high-end uh, motorhome motorhome specialist has quite the inventory I go down the round every month and I just walk around look at their stuff and I go man if I had a couple dollars to uh, rub together, I'd get one of these, or I'd get one of those. They have quite the diverse inventory. Look at this. That's a nice double bowl stainless steel sink. Beautiful uh, chrome faucets and uh, soap dispenser and also hot water uh, dispenser. Lovely black splash, not black splash, back splash. Beautiful back splash. Ah, uh, yeah, and this little thin little drawer here. I don't know what you can use that for. You can put your uh, your mitts, your uh, pot holders, put some utensils in there. And yeah, it's very smooth. But I always do that little test. I test uh, the plywood box construction. I go, hey, is it smooth? They're, they actually finished and sanded it. These are high quality, you know, cabinets. Beautiful metal glides, or some people call them slides. There's some storage. I'm not going to open up all the cabinets. You can put some stuff in there. I don't know what you can put in there. Maybe your uh, various uh, condiments or the other ones that don't require refrigeration. Your salt, your pepper, your spices. and Beautiful hinges, but what, what, what do you expect? It's supposed to be very good hinges at this price point. So here's the other side. You get a residential refrigerator with a freezer at the bottom. You got the French, you know, the, I don't know what they call those French doors. It has ice and water dispenser. My wife and I are looking at one uh, for a refrigerator currently. They go for a good price. They go for around 3000 bucks uh, for a nice one like this one. 
And here's some storage area for your cans and your package goods. Just put them back there. Yes, plenty of storage in this Integra Cornerstone 40Y. You can have a, tr a little uh, tray down there that you can pull out and uh, have some items down there, like heavy cans or something that you put in there. So, almost seems like you should have maid service if you live in one of these. And this is a little china cabinet, so you can put your you know, bottles of wine or your expensive uh, china up there. Beautiful porcelain, very shiny porcelain uh, tile in this unit. So what do you think of these sinks? Nice looking sinks, huh? Bit decadent for me, but they're very, very nice. Maybe you can afford it and you're used to this super shiny high-end stuff. I am not used to it. I'm just a simple boy from Silicon Valley. This family is, are all millionaires now because they own property down there. Millions upon millions upon millions. My family is down there just because they grew up in the right spot at the right time. But me, I moved to Texas, and I'm living uh, modestly. This is absolutely beautiful. So they, they paint these uh, cabinets uh, white. So what do you think of the paint color? Do you like it? I, I definitely like it. It definitely has a nice, uh, clean look to it. Again, the beautiful solid surface countertops. Beautiful backsplash and uh, hardware. So what do you think of the sinks, faucets, and shower? Don't forget you can always leave comments in the description and you, know, you, know, you can leave your two cents and say, hey, I love this unit. In fact, I own two of them. There is one man I uh, ran into who had two Prevos, has two Prevos, owns two of them. Wow. Some people have money, others just don't. So this is a nice looking shower. If you're a regular size person, it's, it's, it, it could be a little bit bigger. Some units of these uh, Class A's, these uh, super duper Class A's have gigantic showers. It's a good size shower, as long as you're not too big. Uh, again, fabulous high-end chrome hardware. Beautiful, and uh, that nice backsplash is a nice uh, porcelain uh, tile. Sort of looks like uh, marble, but it's actually just porcelain tile. Let me close that up and let me look at the other side there's the bathroom on the other side have a a toilet some of these units have one and a half this one only has one toilet and there it is a nice little toilet and bathroom area and uh, I like the wallpaper I like the porcelain uh, tile I like everything what's not to like look at all that storage right there and even the window sconces and the shades that come down and of course you have that light above uh, you know the uh, skylight absolutely beautiful uh, you know when I'm looking at these lower end twenty twenty five thousand dollar travel trailers with their little cheapy blinds I get very jealous of these uh, roller blinds that are of a higher end very nice door um, you know handles there this is a photograph I got from the uh, website from Integra to show you some of the functionality that's available with that little head unit right there, you get quite a bit. And again, you have to get an orientation to it because it's so complex. For me, at least, it would be complex. Maybe for you, if you're a, you know, electronics engineer, you go, no problem. I know this stuff backwards and forwards. And again, more cabinets uh, here in the uh, bathroom. I'm backing up so you can see it better. And nice hardware. This has a little carpet in the inside there. I don't know why. Is there, it's a differentiation in this cabinet as compared to others. Most of the cabinets don't have that carpeting. These two cabinets do. They have this little carpeting inside. I wonder why. But this one right here, see, there's no carpet. This is mainly for the towels, I would think, and uh, your sheets, your pillows, extra pillows, uh, and stuff like that. This one flops down. There's one that, no, no, the other one flops down. This one stays open. It's a good size little high quality drawer there, but this next one here just plops down. I wonder why. Why it plops down? I've uh, never encountered something like that. Again, I uh, come from a, you know, very simple folk, and we never had stuff like that. In fact, when I grew up, I was living in a tent, and we had dirt floors. 
<laughs> we were poor. We were really, really poor. But my brothers and sisters all did well because we'd settled in Silicon Valley and my brothers and sisters all bought property back in the 60s and 70s when it was, you know, you can buy a house for 20,000, 25,000. They bought a lot of them and they're now renting them for a, a sweet, sweet, sweet penny here. A very shiny penny. So we're now in the bedroom and they have a own TV, have plenty of storage. And uh, that's, uh, again, beautiful solid surface countertops right there, those uh, tops there. So you can rest a hot cup of coffee there and it ain't gonna stain the you know beautiful wood. This side had a little bit of problems where it bumped into that other handle, but you know, maybe that's just uh, how it works. This is not a combo unit. This is actually a separate washer and dryer that's the way to go you do not want a combo unit from what I've heard and from various reviews you want a separate washer and dryer this works out very nicely and since you're uh, you got a tremendous uh, diesel pusher engine back there you can haul this stuff down the highway like it's nothing like it's like it's a feather can you get that beautiful mirrors and uh, you get a little storage right under there under your end table and you got some plugs, you know, some, you know, some receptacles, and they have a Greek sort of style for these columns, uh, beautiful, be beautifully fluted wood, solid wood, and you get some uh, three uh, areas there so you can stuff stuff. And uh, that's a beautiful headboard. So I wonder if it's a French style or an Italian style. I get them confused. Again, I didn't, you know, I'm not a interior decorator, but I know some. And uh, you get some pillows round pillows, square pillows, blue pillows, ivory pillows. It's all very nice. You get two reading lights and you get those receptacles and you get these beautiful windows on each side. Absolutely glorious. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. And uh, even uh, my heterosexual uh, propensity say this is still very masculine. But also my wife will definitely say, wow, this is nice. Again, those uh, porcelain tile floors. And this is about the end of the video. I'd like to thank you all for checking out my video. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. It's very, very important to me. I'm almost at a thousand uh, subscribers, and probably by the end of the month or so, this month of uh, November in uh, 2018, I'll be at a thousand subscribers. And after that, Things will grow exponentially. I'll maybe have 2,000. I'd like to thank the folks at Motorhome Specialist in Alvarado, Texas. They are the best. They allowed me to shoot this video. Thank you very much. And of course, they produce some fantastic videos. Fantastic videos. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.